is the cat kennel. They have more than 25 cats on this property. Apparently he loved cats and uh, and her uh, Hemingway house tour. Yes. And if you have not see a Beautiful. Is this where we get the tickets for the Hemingway house? And I see people lining up that way. Do we have, are we that's cutting a line? That's for a tour. Oh, that's for a tour. Yeah. Okay, so we'll. They're, the tours are included. As long as he stays on there. Um, yeah, that's fine. So you may have to pick him up because we're not, we don't allow strollers inside the okay. uh, house. So okay. Okay, thank you. In five to ten minutes. So we're right now in Ernest Hemingway's house. The great American author. The microphone, so you can sign. Yes. Okay. Happy to Florence. Happy to Florence. Right, so right now we are at the Hemingway House. A must place. Is it? When you're here, you are still. He was one of the most famous inhabitants of here. He was a great American author. Wrote things like The Old Man in the Sea. I remember reading that when I was a kid. And so many more books, wow. Hey, Ingrid Bergman and Ernest Hemingway. Wow. For Whom the Bell Tolls, Gary Cooper and Ingrid Bergman. That's another one of his great novels, For Whom the Bell Tolls. There's this picture. Come on in, folks. Or his kitchen. Go ahead, take a look. Marconi, you want to see the kitchen? Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Read, uh, read that living room. Yes, this is the living room. Yes, and there's a present picture present.
upstairs? Yeah. Wow, good. Land Paris. Have you heard of that Sandra Bullock film? <laughs> Love and Horn, yes. So that was a third remake. That was a third remake of Farewell to Arms. Love with his so nurse. Based on his personal story? Yeah. A tale of love between the ambulance driver and his nurse. So that's what he was. Because Hemingway was trying to put birds in a car. <laughs> it says right there, Hemingway's story is based on this war duty is now. So he was an ambulance driver. He fell in love with his nurse and he based that story, A Farewell to Arms, on his personal experience during World War I and his love for the nurse that took care of him. So the, the first one was made in 1932 with Gary Cooper and Helen Hayes. The second one was with Rock Hudson and Jennifer Jones. And the third one, retitled In Love and War, was made uh, uh, starring Sandra Bullock and Chris O'Donnell. It's his bedroom. So this was uh, Hemingway's bedroom, not small. He loved cats. The oh, pineapple lamps.
Nice house, huh? Oh, I love this this balcony or pat my patio. love this place. I mean, it's so peaceful. It was actually built in the 1850s by a guy named Asa Tift. So he was a Confederate uh, shipbuilder and did things like that. And he designed this place. And so unfortunately, his family died, you know, from yellow fever. His wife and his three kids died of yellow fever in the 1850s, between 1853, I think, and 1854. And uh, he lived here until he died, but he designed um, some of the ships for the Confederacy uh, when they engaged in the Civil War. And um, it fell into disrepair for years, and then it was bought by Ernest Hemingway, who restored it to its glory. And so right here, we're on the balcony, we're on the second floor, and you can see the garden here. There are a lot of cats. And it's very, very tropical here. There's a fountain over there. And then here are the grounds that are very nicely manicured. There's a fish pond over at the back of the house. So there's a lot of beautiful natural space here. So and there looks like there's a swimming pool there. You can actually see the lighthouse. Yeah, the lighthouse is over there. You have to kind of like squeeze over to this side here. And there's the, the beautiful, famous lighthouse of Key West. So this is really amazing. This is definitely something you should visit because there's a lot of history here. And he influenced a lot of people through his writings. And Rob, you know, John F. Kennedy, when he wrote the book, uh, Profiles in Courage, he was inspired by Ernest Hemingway and his writings for writing that book. So he, doubtless had such a big impact on American culture. That's our uh, Hemingway to house tour. Yes, and if we have fun, see other things here, we'll, we'll open this up again. <laughs> yeah, so it's, you should check it out. Definitely. This is really something yeah. to see, it's a must see. And they have guided tours, you know, um, every 15 minutes, mm -hmm. or no, every 30 minutes. No, is it every, every 15? 30 minutes. Is yeah. it every 30 minutes? Yeah. So, and the, the, the tour lasts for about 15 minutes, so, but we wanted to do it on our own so that we would have, you know, the freedom to mm -hmm. kind of explore and stay and read some of the information that was here. There's a lot to see here. The ticket is actually uh, like $16 per person. It's about $18, $18 per, person. per person, but it's worth it because, you know, you're going to be uh, moving into uh, history. So. All right. Later. Let's go down this way because they have a beautiful garden here.
this is a big area. And I want to see that place too. Oh, Cat Cemetery. Oh. <laughs> wow, let's see the book house. This is the cat kennel. They have more than 25 cats on this property. Apparently he loved cats and uh, cats kind of dominate this place right now. So this is the kennel where they keep them. Wow. There's another cat house. Hemingway Bookstore, we have to go inside there. Real cat.
<sighs> Such a nice property. Oh my god. Look, they even have a an atrium. What do you call this? A, a stage area here? Look. Yeah. Really nice. Oh, and look at that tree. The flame tree that we used to have. I mean, that Saipan has. And it's known for. Life. Of a poet, of a an author. God, his whole family died. He was one of the wealthiest men in the nation. A side, Forsyth Tift. <laughs>